Hello, Wax Army, and today we are back with another video. Um, not a normal video because today we are revamping the video I did almost a year ago. I think actually a year ago. The video, my top 10 most favorite Pokemon, that was literally like a year ago. So I feel like we have to make this because I love Pokemon. And um, also, I've changed. Like, my Pokemon that I love have changed a lot because, well, Sword and Shield came out. They introduced a lot of new Pokemon. The only problem is none of those new Pokemon I really, really liked. I mean, the ones I did like was, like, Corviknight, Duraludon, or Duraludon. I don't, I don't know how to say it, but it's Corviknight, Duraludon. I really like Grimmsnarl also. And I love the new Gigantamax Charger. <laughs> Epic. So, yeah. Also, the Crown Tundra release. There wasn't that much Pokemon in there, just like Legendary, so... Yeah. Um, so, let's start from number 10, which is Nidoking. I love, love Nidoking. Not just because I like it more than Nidoqueen. I don't know why, I just... Nidoking is like a big monster thing. Nidoqueen is just like a gentle, walking dinosaur thing. And it's freaking huge. Well, it's not that big. It's actually just like this tall. So it's not that big, but it, it's really strong. It's very good. And probably my favorite poison type um, or ground type. My, my favorite ground type is probably Rhyperior or Rhydon because I, I feel like they shouldn't have made Rhyperior. I mean, Rhyperior does not look as cool as Rhydon because it's like a big armored dude. Rhydon's like a dinosaur, but off topic. So... Number nine is the Kanto original. You cannot forget this Pokemon, Venusaur. Everyone loves Venusaur if you've loved Pokemon for a long time. Venusaur is an amazing Pokemon, an amazing starter actually, and it's cool. Why is it so low on this list? I like the other starters better, so it's not as cool as Blastoise or Charizard, but you know, it still has a special place in my heart because I love Venusaur. Now, number eight is my favorite electric type. I'm sorry, Pikachu. It is Ampharos. Yep, it is Ampharos, my favorite electric type. It's a cute little thing. It's like a cute dinosaur thing. I don't know why. All of these Pokemon are like dinosaurs. But yeah, Ampharos is like a dinosaur. It's made of electricity, can mega evolve. It's just so cool. Why would you not love Ampharos? It's so cute. And yeah, it's start as a sheep, and now it's this thing. Number seven is Blastoise. Yup, there's the other Kanto starter, Blastoise. I love Blastoise also. So cool with the two cannons. Get it? Two cannon? The joke? I'm bad at jokes. Anyways, the two cannon joke. Um, honestly, I don't think it was that bad. I mean, come on. Two Cannon is a Pokemon. That was that was good, I think. Okay, anyways, Blastoise is so cool. It starts as Little Squirtle, then evolves into War Turtle, which is pretty cool. And then Blastoise. And, yeah, huge jump from coolness from Squirtle to Blastoise. And it can Mega Evolve, so, yeah. Now, number six is another, well, not another, the first fire type on the list. Arcanine. Arcanine is so cool. Especially the riding animation in Let's Go. That is amazing. It is so freaking fast. It is amazing. It's known as the legendary Pokemon, even though it's not a legendary Pokemon. But it is epic. It's Arcanine. Come on. Number five is my favorite Eevee Evolution, Umbreon. Now, actually, the special thing, I don't know, I really love Jolteon also. Jolteon and Umbreon are like my favorites. I like Umbreon a bit better only because of its shiny. So yeah, Umbreon is super cool. It's like dark, it's ominous. It's really epic. Number four is the legendary god of the sky, Rayquaza. It is my favorite legendary by far. It is a giant green snake that can mega evolve and destroy strongest catchable Pokemon, well, also with Mega Mewtwo and Mega Rayquaza, but it's the strongest catchable Pokemon. If you have Ray Turnamax, it turns this. It's way stronger. Its base stat total is insanely out of this world, but you can't catch it, so yeah. And number three is Dragonite. I love Dragonite. It is so cute. 
it is a cute dragon that can demolish anything. Like, if you have a Dragonite on your team, you're amazing. Also, quick mention, Lance has a Dragonite. Two Dragonites, actually. In Let's Go, he has one. But most of the other games that Lance... Most of the other games that Lance appears in, he has two Dragonites, which is really epic. So, good job for Dragonite being cute and fearsome. Number two is my favorite, favorite dark type, Hydreigon. Now, my second favorite Pokemon a long time ago was not Hydreigon. But Hydreigon has grown close to me because I love Hydreigon. Only problem is, I have Pokemon Shield. Shield is my main version because I like Zamazenta more. But you can't get Hydreigon in Shield. You literally can't. You have to get it in Sword. So my friend, um, I gave him a shout out in the last video. My best friend, Hersheth. He actually traded me a Hydreigon, which is really nice of him. And I traded him a Zoroark. So yeah. And his favorite, second favorite Pokemon is actually Zoroark. So that worked out well. But uh, yeah, I love Hydreigon. It got the three heads. It's kind of like Ghidorah. Um, minus the yellowness and the electricity. But it's three heads. The other two heads look kind of weird. They're like flapping around. But the main head looks like bah! And it just shoots lasers. So that is epic. I love Hydreigon. And you guys probably saw this coming. Number one is Charizard. You guys saw that coming. Everyone saw that coming. Because I, every video I talk about Pokemon, I've always expressed that I love Charizard. I've loved it for so many years now. Um... I've known Pokemon since I was like three, and now I'm almost 11. So yeah, so like basically six and a half years. Um, I've loved Charizard. It is the coolest dragon Pokemon in my opinion. I mean, come on. It evolves into a like dragon thing, like a water fire, blue fire dragon. There's a picture of it. And then it evolves into another fire dragon, which is the exact same type. But yeah. And it's Gigantamax form is so cool. I'm going to go under because the picture is going to be really big. Here's a picture of Gigantamax Charizard. I know. It's really cool. Okay, I'm back. Now, thank you guys for tuning in for 7 minutes and 35 seconds. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, let me know what you think of my favorite Pokemon. Do you agree with me? Or do you not like Charizard because it gets too much attention compared to the other two starters? Honestly, that's a fair point. That, that's fair. I mean, yeah. Charizard has two Megas. Venusaur and Blastoise have one. Charizard got a Gigantamax form before Venusaur and Blastoise. Then they made a Gigantamax form for Venusaur and Blastoise. Also, um, one of my friends asked me to include this in this video. My favorite legendary bird is Articuno. I know I love fire and stuff. I... Joel really like Moltres. I don't know why. I Zapdos is cool, Moltres is cool, but Articuno is amazing. Especially Galarian Articuno. Bruh, it's literally Superman. It shoots lasers out of its eyes. My goodness, that is epic. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and stay sharp.